What's up, y'all? This your girl, Miss Maggie T. How y'all doing? How you doing? If you enter into this channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. I'm still here, people. Still going. Still alive. Let's go ahead and get into these news and updates. There's not a lot to talk about as far as the Atlanta Hawks camp. It looks like we are now entering into the All-Star break week. Um, standing at a record of 28 and 30, they will take a week off to time the rest and get together and recoup before the you know the last stretch until the postseason. Um, it looks like we won't be playing again until February 24th, and we'll be on the road to Chicago. Right, so no news any up updates on that at the moment. Now it looks like as far as the MLB, there is not a lot of news either. They last had a negotiations meeting on Saturday, but it doesn't look like. Uh, um, anything has happened between the two parties, the MLB and the MLBPA. So there are no future meetings scheduled between the two. So um, what does that mean for the Atlanta Braves? That means everything as far as contract signings is on halt. Now, I'm not, I am very surprised they didn't make any negotiations efforts with um, Freddie Freeman before this lockout, but... Um, it looks like we won't know anything for quite some time. So what happens here? Is he just not happy what, what the Atlanta Braves have offered so far? Um, is other teams giving him a better, you know, situation? Now, you know, the ball in his court at this point, he got his World Series win, yay. But he can go anywhere he pleases. But I just feel like Freddie Freeman is very loyal to the Atlanta Braves. But hey, money is money. That's how you talk the talk, you know? So... No updates on that, but you know, he's 30 some years old and you know, I would think that most people would think that he's on the decline, but honestly, he's positioned to age pretty well and retire wherever he goes and be a very um, contributing factor to any team that he goes to which we're hoping that it will be the Atlanta Braves. So we'll see how that goes. Now, as far as the Atlanta Falcons, um, you know, it's the off season. Not a lot of things are going on, but surprisingly, we have signed tight end Ryan Becker to the active roster. I'm surprised at any type of signing going on in off season, but hey, these are the Atlanta Falcons of the new era. And you know, Hey, I'm just here to be the messenger here. He's standing at six foot five, 248 pounds. I guess he'll be alongside Cal Pitts and other tight ends at this point. Now, as far as releasing of players, it looks like on yesterday we have released outside linebacker with only one year left on his contract, Dante Fowler Jr. Um, you know, he took a pay cut in the 2021 season as they reconfigured his contract with some incentives that he failed to hit that was placed in his deal. He played in 14 games starting in six, and he only finished with 4.5 sacks. So, of course, um, being inconsistent like that, um, they didn't feel that it was good enough. And, you know, this new era of the Falcons, they mean business. So if you don't perform, you're out the door, right? So won't be surprised as to who else we see leaving the Atlanta Falcons camp. Let's go ahead and go into the coaching, the ring around the coaching changes. It looks like the Falcons have parted ways with wide receiver coach Dave Brock. Um, now, he's one of the few um, of the lads um, under the Dan Quinn staff regime, and he will not be returning. It looks like they're getting out all the trash. No offense. No offense, y'all. But, hey, I'm happy. Let's start a new right now this is a new falcons team and we need to treat it as such get rid of all the old era definitely now of course he's joined the falcons in 2017 as an assistant wide receivers coach and um he was promoted to running backs coach and then took over as the falcons wide receiver coach in 2020 but it's time for him to go right now it looks like um, assistant offensive line coach Chandler Henley is also leaving. Um, he's taking a job with the Miami Dolphins, um, looks like the reports are stated. Um, and we also have parted ways with pro personnel director Steven Sabo. And we have hired Michael Petrie to replace former running backs coach Des Kitchen. But I think I reported that earlier. I just wanted to kind of reiterate that. Now, as far as the Falcons quarterbacks coach, Charles of London you know he did interview with quite some teams and the last one was for the Dolphins um for their open 
um, offensive coordinator position, looks like he decided to stay in Atlanta. Um, so there's no changes as far as the quarterback's coach. And I know that's good news for Matt Ryan and more. I know that's not a popular name, but hey, we got to stay consistent, at least with the, you know, that situation. You know, all these changes makes a huge difference to the players. But that's all I got as far as the news and updates. I hope everyone's out there is getting COVID free, feeling better. I know it was a, quite a few people that reached out to me saying, hey, I'm sick too. I'm much better. I am happy about that, honestly. I didn't think this thing was going to end, but now I'm back with full energy and I can bring you guys some news and updates as they come along. You never know, I might do a couple of lives once again, so be on the lookout for that. But please continue to subscribe to the channel. Uh, We're 20 away from 2000 on Atlanta Falcons Nation and I think all sports network, we're like 640 something. Get me over to a thousand. Get me over the hurdle and I want to do it naturally. I'm not paying for anything. I just want all my real fans of sports teams and it can be all sports that's what i mean any sports that you like that's what this channel is all about people appreciate you guys once again i'm out peace